Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is the Dia Vitus 2012 Part uh, 11. Um, in the previous episode, I told you about uh, forging and uh, equipping your military, and uh, this episode is going to be more about um, machinery and traps. Uh, those are very important parts of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, you need to be able to defend your fortress, and you need to work with water mechanics and uh, and stuff like that. And uh, I prepared a little bit for that. And, um, well, before we go off to that, I will first want to say sorry for, like, the, the week of no videos. I've been having some, some terrible headaches, but it seems to be getting better. I think I should be able to create some more videos this week. And, uh, also, I've decided I'm going to do a Ryan the Specpire uh, blind let's play. I met a video the other day, and uh, the authors contacted me, but, um, gave me a, a different version with more uh, audio control. So, I'll... I'll Let's start let's playing that soon as a side project, just like uh, Tag was, Trash Adventure game was. Um, okay, with that out of the way, let's just start uh, explaining stuffs with um, machinery and weapon traps. Since uh, that very, those are very important, and uh, I already showed you a little bit, I already showed you the bridges. I uh, hooked up all these bridges to a lever, it's, this is the lever down here. Uh, well, Let's show that off again. If I just use QA on the lever and pull the lever, a dwarf will come and pull it. If I let the game run for a little while, then the bridges will close and my fortress is safe. So, so that's a very, very basic use of machinery. And we're going to use some more. And um, first I need some extra items so I can build everything. So let's show you all the extra items I want to make. Um, and let's start off at the carpenter. I already prepared some jobs here, and that's uh, making wooden pipe sections and enormous wooden corkscrews. Uh, these are for screw pumps. If you want to make a water pump, you need a couple of these. You need at least one uh, wooden corkscrew, or uh, well, not even wooden. You need one enormous corkscrew and one pipe section. And uh, you can make the uh, the easy way is to make this at a uh, a carpenter like this. You can make all the pipe sections and uh, wooden corkscrews you want in a, in a carpenter. You can also do that uh, with magma. If you go uh, to a, a magma forge, you should also have it. If I go now to um, furniture, I think. Let's uh, add a... Yeah, here's the pipe section. Here it's split. The pipe section is in the furniture and uh, the corkscrew is in the uh, trap components. That, that that's it. And uh, also here at the trap components, you can also construct mechanisms. I've shown you how to make create mechanisms before. You can do that at a uh, mechanic normally. Here and these are constructing mechanisms, but you can also make them out of metal at a magma forge. So so that's the two ways to get them, uh, yeah these items. And um, well, for starters, just create mechanisms at, at a mechanics workshop. Create a couple of uh, those wooden corkscrews. Create a couple of pipe sections, and you'll be able to, to at least create screw pumps. And if you have uh, enough mechanisms, you can make weapon traps all day long. Um, and uh, well, what should we start with? With the mechanisms or with the traps? Um, that's the same thing. <laughs> no, that mechanisms or. Um, with the traps or with the machinery. Well, since I've showed you the um, how to make the, the screw pumps and stuff like that first, let's start with machinery. And um, well, that's another corner of the B menu. If you go B and then uh, capital M, you get the machinery options menu. And uh, here there are a ton of options, and uh, well, not that much, but here you can. Well, basically pump water around, and even magma, if you make the material safe enough, that you can do that with a screw pump, and with a water wheel you can automa automate that. Um, let's start, I should have enough materials for a screw pump, I uh, should have, uh, oh, I have everything except blocks. And, um, well, let's make some blocks then, that's normally at a mason's workshop, I think I've shown this already, but here, let's add some blocks to the mason's workshop could also do this downstairs near my normal crafting level. You know what? Let's give two sets of commands. 
And uh, now that will need to be built. So before I can actually place a screw pump and we can start pumping some water. Since that's another goal of the video, I'm going to start filling the lake with all these machinery options. Um, oh, uh, first before I do that, I should need also make some more floodgates. Uh, let's go back down here. Here indeed. And also make some floodgates since we're going to need those. Yeah. Floodgates are very important for, for water uh, pumping water around. Um, now I need a little uh, game run a little bit until all my items have been made. And then I actually, actually can start placing things. And uh, then we'll start uh, yeah, filling up the water from here. The, the river is in the, the north right. Northeast even. <laughs> um, and I uh, yeah, t uh, collected, uh, they dug out some paths here already. and. We need to start filling those, but, um, well, need the time. Um, I don't think I have any floodgates yet done yet. Let's see. No. Uh, you know what? I'll pause the video for a second and uh, I'll be back with when all these jobs are done. Alright, some time passed and uh, I created all the items I wanted to. Now, let's start placing some stuff so we can uh, start flooding the little lake over here. And uh, well, I'm going to, to show you two ways, and that's why I've dug these two paths. If I go a level down, it's a little bit more clear. This is just a, a crooked path, uh, well, just diagonal, and this one is straight. And I'm going to use two ways of, of uh, moving the water. This one's going to be easy, I'm just going to open the, the, the gate and let it flood in. The other one here is going around the corner, but um, I'm going to use a screw pump here. And the screw pump uh, it will pumps the water along and usually goes way, way faster. And uh, well, this uh, will be a demonstration of that too. And uh, well, let's start building some things. And um, we're going to finally use that BM menu, B capital M. Then, um, well, let's start with uh, a, the screw pump, since that will do the depumping business. Uh, that's here with the S button. Now we need to select it, and um, now I can with A U M K H I can select the direction, and that's very important. Um, like now it's pumping from the east, now it's pumping from the west. You, you can easily change it like this, and uh, actually I should show you this. I prepared this. Um, let's see. Here is the dwarf waters wiki. This is the, the wiki for screw pump, and. Uh, what you need to think about is this, um, the basic side view of a pump, what it does. So these two tiles, that's the, the screw pump. And uh, the green tile here, the, the tile next to the water is where the dwarf stands. If, if uh, you want to dwarf the pump, you need to stand on this square, the green square. And the dark green square is impassable, that's where the actual pump or something is. And what it does, it takes a... Yeah, some water from a tile uh, from the well, west in this case of the screw pump and places it on the same level to the right. And using this, you can pump water up levels. Uh, if you just do this enough, if you like copy this behavior, uh, can I like? Oh, well, this also almost works. If I put it like this, you can get the idea. You can pump water up multiple levels. Anyway. Um, or something like this, well, more like this. Um, anyway, you can pump it up to multiple, multiple levels like that, and uh, that's that's a screw pump, that's a pump stack even. Uh, but also, it speeds up the water. Uh, any water that goes through the pump will uh, be pressurized and go way faster, so that's better for good distances. And anyway, now we know this, and uh, let's set it to pump correctly here. Um, and so I'm making it pump from the east, so this little pump will be filled with water later when the pump is done. Uh, the, the green, the light green X is where the dwarf is able to stand, the dark green X is uh, impossible. And the water will be pumped to this tile, and from here it will go through this little trench all the way to the, well, the lake, the moat. And uh, well now I only need to place it, uh, press enter. And now you need all those items, like a block, a uh, wooden corkscrew, or a enormous corkscrew, it can also be a metal corkscrew. And you need that if you want to pump magma safe materials, like you need a steel corkscrew or whatever. And uh, you need a pipe section, well let's select one as well, and actually that's the, the pump, the screw pump done. 
Um, you can automate it uh, and we'll need to do more stuff with that like with the water wheel or windmill let's, let's keep it at this for now and let's have a pump, uh, dwarf pump automatically and also let's place some floodgates so we can close things off if things go wrong very important thing as well and um, uh, yeah let's plant, the, plant those um, floodgates are, are also in the, the normal B menu BX for the floodgate and uh, I'm going to place them strategically um, let, let's one place one here at least and also let's place three here and I'll hook those all up to levers um, yeah this should be fine uh, any more no I could build some more fortifications in here to keep, keep the fish out but well fish can go in that will be fine <laughs> my dwarf can fish easier close to the base I don't have carp right um, these things what are you you are a salmon 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 yeah salmon aren't the problem he says and oh, I sense problems in the future so let's build some fortifications anyway I should show you this anyway we'll always build fortifications in a hallway like this um, to filter and you know what here should be fine close to it and you even if they can't get stuck since there's a ramp out of here let's build fortifications here make them out of uh, a block or type of stone at least here direct is fine and uh, let's have all this built now first um, door should show up I should have some machinery jobs oh yeah since that's important for all sort of these sort of jobs you need uh, mechanics and like let's add another mechanic you woodworker I will set you to also be a mechanic you know what pump operating for pump operating later too um, and here come the floodgates and they're being installed uh, let's see, is someone actually working on this? The screw pump, he'll need an architect, architect, whatever. But the floodgates are already in place. Well, that's good. Then now I can hook up some levers to that. Um, you know what? Let's place the levers outside here. Well, no, that's not very smart. Uh, if I place them outside, like I go in, go to, like come and uh, open the lever and when I don't want it to be open and or pull the lever when I don't want it to be pulled and that would be a problem um, so I'll just place them somewhere <laughs> um, the thing is you gotta remember those, those things in the future as well no, I probably fine if I place them here um, this little room um, let's see I need two levers the, the right one and the left one and well I'll forget what these do later but oh well let's place them place a lever let's place uh, another lever here make them out of direct mechanisms that's fine and oh, yeah, I built a lever with uh, B what was it capital T and then L that's the weapon trap menu uh, we'll be using more of that later um, now these levers need to be built and I can start hooking them up to all the floodgates um, would be nice if they be, would be built now. You know what? Let's set another mechanic or two. Here's a, no, that's a marks. She should not be a mechanic. You, you know what? You get engineering. Uh, anyone else without a job? Tanner, no, not a Tanner. Shooter, no. Um, a line maker. Let me just set him. Um, a peasant without a job. You can now be an engineer. And that should speed things up a little bit. Um, let's see. There comes the first lever, and there comes the second lever. Okay, both are built. Nice. Now I'm going to hit. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, not hit them, but um, I hook them up to the floodgates. Uh, that should yeah A to give a job, uh, F to link it up to a floodgate, and actually yeah, this diorite floodgate is the f this one. Yeah left lever will this lever will go for this floodgate and that should be it or did I screw something up this should now have an option no I screwed something up okay so A F link it to the right foot, the right foot floodgate die right floodgate even 
and then select some mechanisms, preferably the low quality ones. That's it. It's hooked up. To, uh, it's, it will be hooked up to that floodgate, and later on you can use that lever to open and close it. And uh, same thing for this lever. Let's hook it up to hook it up to the other floodgates and like, hook it up to all these, all three of these floodgates. U, add some mechanisms. A F, uh, third one. A F, and uh, the last one. Um, there we go. Now they should be hooked up, and uh, well, dwarfs should start doing that soon enough. And I'll be able to close them. Also, how's the construction of the screw pump no, uh, going? It needs masonry. Well, I should have a mason who's making a floodgate. Um, well, that'll come. Uh, you know what? Let's add a mason as well. You fish cleaner are useless. You're now a stone worker. Um, Okay, here come the tours with the mechanisms. Oh, it's starting to hit the floodgate. To, uh, yeah, connect the first floodgate. And while they're connecting, let's uh, start up with weapon traps as well. Or, well, that'll take a lot of jobs, uh, and I want to do this fast. Um, okay, let's we'll wait for this a little bit. You know what? I'll pause the video a little bit uh, until the dwarves have connected all these machines. Back in a second. Okay, uh, everything's hooked up now. Uh, let's show you. If I pull the levers, pull the left one and pull the right one, uh, the walls here should disappear. Uh, like this you should be able to see. Uh, both have been pulled and well, both walls are gone now. So now I have a safe way if something goes wrong I can pull these levers and uh, walls will show up again there um, now we should be able to start the pump as well yeah the pump has been done and also I noticed a little thingy um, when off screen um, my plan was first to to open this way to like channel out this room uh, and then this little pond below here would be filled but this little pond below it would probably fill up really fast also fill up this level and then the screw pump here wouldn't be able to be used anymore uh, so what I did is instead of going, I'm going to not open this I'm going to open like these walls like close to here and then the water can yeah, stream into this little area from from here uh, to that little gate basically maybe should make that a little bit bigger as well. You know what? That won't be a problem. Let's do that. Um, uh, how about we make it... Uh, there's not much room to maneuver here. Let's put it like this. Um, no. Let's create some upward ramps here. Instead, here doesn't have to be anything. And on top level here, yeah, these will just be three ramps. That should be fine. Since they're upward ramps, they'll automatically take out the level above them as well. And that should happen right now. Or now. Yeah, now at least there's three tiles of water entrance from here to this little area. And you know what? Let's uh, cut, off, cut off some corners as well. Um, this should be fine. Now it should be able to stream in here and it will probably fill up. But, uh, or uh, it will fill up, but hopefully not too fast, so uh, you can't do anything anymore. Um, okay, first wait until this final piece of rock is dug out. And um, that's fine. Okay, now let's open the waterway. Um, something in the fortifications here. Swarm of flies. Well, swarm of flies can go through fortifications. That's normally a big deal. Um, okay, let's open the path. This is uh, the exciting time. Here I could fill my fortress as well if I uh, haven't waterproofed this, but I, I've checked this in off camera multiple times. This should be completely waterproof. Nothing should be able to get through here and uh, I should be able to fill up my lake. Well, let's do it. Um, let's open up some tiles here. Uh, make sure my dwarves won't get stuck as well let's start easy like this and then uh, slowly open some more 
let's see, that's the start. Uh, the water is starting to flow there. Uh, let's open a couple more tiles like this and like this. And that should be fine, yeah. Okay, so anyway, water is already flowing into here. Uh, it's already... In this level, it'll fall, fill up really fast. Let's turn up, the, turn on the pump as well, and let's just switch Q and a pump and then enter. And then a dwarf will manually start pumping that. And um, someone's going through the water here and dying with blood. What are you doing? <laughs> You're stupid. Um, okay, anyway... Now, oh, <laughs> there was someone taking a fish here out of this path, and then he started pumping the water. That was not very smart. Anyway, he's pumping the water, and as you can see, the sevens here already reaching the lake, reaching the lake, and this part of the the flowing is going way way slower. This is just normal flow, and this is a pump flow. So, well, this will show you. Uh, if you can, if you, especially if you have to do to fill something fast, and if you want to do it on long distances, just make a, a pumping dwarf, uh, just make a screw pump, so you can pump around stuff way, way faster. And uh, well, mostly thanks to this side path here, I'm, yeah, slowly filling up my pond now, my my moat. So that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, we can also automate this. Uh, if I set up some machinery like a water wheel, um, well, let's try and do that fast. Uh, if I have the equipment, I think I do. Um, okay, water wheel. So that's also from the BM menu, BMW, B capital MW. Uh, you need S to change the orientation. It needs to be above a path like this. Oh, and also you need first need a gear assembly, otherwise it won't work. Um, First gear assembly. Let's see. Uh, the water, the mechanic power will need to be brought to here. Um, yeah, I'll put it like this. It should be fine. There uh, shouldn't be anything below here, so I'll put the mechanism here. Let's make a gear assembly. Uh, a gear assembly is just something to transmit power, by the way. Uh, what I'm going to try and do now is make a water wheel, connect a water wheel to the screw pump, so I won't have to have my dwarf uh, pump there manually anymore. And uh, it'll take a while. Maybe I should just keep this video to machinery instead of <laughs> adding uh, weapon traps after this. That will, will not work as well. Nah, this this video for now on it will be just be machinery. I'll make a different video for weapon traps. Um, Okay, so that's the first thing done. Uh, let's go back and add a water wheel to this. If I press S, I can now yeah, uh, connect it to the gear assembly over there. And let's see, let's make a water wheel. Water wheel, you need, just need some logs to build a water wheel. And it will be built. Um, but uh, it also, we need to transmit power to the other, other place. So let's set that up as well. Uh, first I need a little bit of flooring, this needs to be over here basically. Um, you know what, I'll make flooring a little bit bigger, uh, like this, so we're sure we can stand on everything. Uh, make it out of diorite as well, and uh, let my dwarves build that, so yeah, just trying to automate, <laughs> trying to automate. If not, yeah, the lake is starting to fill. There's well ones here, but here's f sevens, and this side path is completely useless. Like this, most of the water is just streaming into here, and from here it's being pumped. But oh well, it uh, it shows you at least. Um, now it would be nice if the dwarves will build those f pieces of floor first. But well, I see also dwarves working here on the water wheel already, so that's nice. Don't know what he's holding, but okay. Um, let's see. Uh, drink is dangerous to rain now. Oh well. Um, I think I need to pause the video again. Yep. Okay, the floor is done at least. Uh, now let's set up some more machinery to transmit the power. You're going to need more gear assemblies and more uh, vertical axes like that, um, or horizontal horizontal axles even. 
to transmit the power, uh, first let's build two more gear assemblies. Gear, gear assemblies basically are for corners of transmitting powers. And I'm going to place two here. That should be fine. And then a vertical axle here. Uh, not a vertical axle, I need a horizontal axle. Uh, this is running from... Yeah, so it's also all from the, the same menu. I'm <laughs> not really explaining this, but B capital M, now the horizontal axle. And I'm going to use this to transmit the power from this little gear assembly to this one. And let's do that. Uh, I'll place it here. With S I can change the orientation. This is east-west, this is north-south. I want this to be east-west and want it to be longer. So I'm going to use K and H to change this around. Let's see. Uh, that's too long. One a little bit shorter, like this. That should be fine. And make a couple of logs. Three logs. And uh, well, that's basically uh, all to mechanize this or to um, automate this. That's the word. So, what will happen now? The water wheel here will. That's actually done. Nice. Um, also, if someone having a baby will be. Yeah. So the water wheel here is, is well turning in the water. This is uh, a water wheel, just like uh, like a normal mill or whatever water mill, and um, it it transmits power. If you Q on it, you, it show it shows you it creates power. Total power 100, 100, and it needs 15. And uh, every thing connected to the system needs power. Like a little gear assembly needs five power or something, and an axle needs less power and. Uh, a screw pump needs 20 power, or I'm actually not sure, but usually one screw, one water wheel is enough for uh, at least one screw pump. And um, well, now all this needs to be built, so you can uh, one time again. Here's the water wheel, it connects to this gear assembly. This gear assembly will transmit the power through this horizontal axle to this gear assembly. This transmits it to the other one, and this one goes straight down towards the uh, screw pump and it's going straight down to the, the tile the dwarf is on and that should be able to power it if I'm right otherwise I should be able to build a gear assembly like here or down here or well, I don't know that should help um, so let's check if that actually works um, ah, there goes the axle and actually there goes everything already let's see um, Total power needed 133, so this one has power, this one is hanging. Uh, I think it's already connected, yeah. Uh, and as you can see, it automatically turned off the ED manual pumping. Since it's now active, it has power and it's pumping out of its own. The other dude, uh, yeah, he. This is the pump operator guy. He. Well, he doesn't need to be here anymore, he doesn't need to pump anymore since it's automatically now. And, uh,. Oh, that's machinery for you. Yeah, I've, uh, I've also set up uh, basically a perpendicular mode belay with this, since this, oh, wrong button, uh, here it, it, the water is filling, it's pumping the water, and the, the, the speed of the pump, uh, the speed of the water going through this canal is also powering the same screw pump. <laughs> this wouldn't work in real life, but uh, in Dwarf Fortress it does, so enjoy it. You can make uh, perpetual mobiles with this, you can make beautiful waterfalls with this, uh, like this uh, technique as well. Um, also, I noticed, yeah, this is my cox. Um, I think my military is just doing fine up here. They should be able to uh, yeah, defend ramparts. You know what? Uh, let's send one here anyway. Uh, let's not screw with squad. It'll. Uh, this will fix itself probably. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the basics of machinery done. You've seen how to set uh, a screw pump and how to automate it. And uh, what you can do with it, well, basically bump fluids and uh, how you can ruin your FPS. That's probably another thing you noticed in this episode. The FPS has dropped substantially. And that's mostly because it's pumping so much water. When this is done, when the entire lake is filled with like sevens or fours, is probably enough. Then uh, I can turn all this off, turn off the, the water pumping, and then uh, then my FPS should recover a little bit. It usually does. 
so uh, I'm hoping for that and also yeah these red things here that's just blood which is in the water I think and this is just going around yeah it's a um, beautiful realish blood and uh, <laughs> it's just having a nice time uh, uh, being here in the water <laughs> I have no idea um, reason my cracks are being annoying here's some dude yeah, def actually defending the ramparts, and he's in a martial trance. Oh, nice. Did that one monkey just go into the water? I think it did, and it's gone. Huh. Weird. Uh, no, no idea here. I hear yourself trying trouble breathing, but that's because of a copper crossbow bolt. Bah. No idea. Anyway, um, let's end the video as well. 30 minutes uh, long already. Um, so, uh, yeah. Now we know how to set up machinery. Uh, is there anything else I didn't show from this video, from this menu? No. A lot of vertical axles, but you can think about what a vertical axle does. It uh, This is horizontal one. This goes east, west, north, south. Vertical axles are if you want to go transmit power to multiple levels, like levels up and down. Um, the windmill is another way to create power. You need to build it above a thing um, like a water wheel. Water wheel you need to, to connect it to a gear assembly. Uh, a windmill you need to build it uh, above a gear assembly. Like water wheel is like here. Like next to it the, the windmill if you build that uh, the bottom tile, the, the middle green tile, that should be straight above a uh, mechanism like that, a gear assembly, and that should do the trick. But uh, they generate power, but water wheels do as well, and water wheels are usually better. So, yeah, windmills are nice for milling. <laughs> I, I never use them, I never mill, so really not that necessary windmills. If you want to do something, you can probably do it with uh, a setup like this. Um, okay, so that's everything from the machinery menu. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed. I just learned something about machinery and pumping around water. <laughs> oh, and I have the hiccups. Uh, and uh, anyway, see you guys later. Hopefully, the ne next video will become sooner. Later, guys.